I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I've watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Ten Housing Gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time to die. Second Street Tunnel, built in 1924, is 1,500 feet long. The tunnel is frequently used in movies and TV and commercials, most notably Blade Runner. Other movies that were shot here in the tunnel? Terminator, Independence Day, just to name a few. From the tunnel shot in the film, they cut to this shot where the car, Decker, is driving up to his house. He actually pulls in through these gates. There's this amazing shot where Harrison Ford Decker is standing right here overlooking the city as the blanket over his shoulder. The Ennis Brown House was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright for Charles and Mabel Ennis, and it was built in 1924. The house has been in tons of movies, TV shows, and music videos. House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price, Day of the Locust. But it wasn't until Blade Runner that the house gained its popularity amongst moviegoers. The Bradbury Building in downtown Los Angeles was built in 1893, but to Blade Runner fans, it's known as J.F. Sebastian's apartment. One of the most iconic shots in the whole film is when they look up through the glass ceiling and you see the advertisement flying by. This is the elevator they used to go to the third floor. Sebastian's apartment as well as the rooftop were all built on sound stages at Warner Brothers in Burbank, California. The Bradbury building's been featured in tons of movies and TV shows. Just recently, it was featured in the Academy Award-winning best picture, The Artist. I want to thank you so much for watching Making Contact Film and TV Locations. I'm Mr. X. See you next time.